Well, you know, speaking of video marketing, um, that's always been my big thing is the video marketing, but um, you were doing it before I was. And so you literally are like the true OG. It's kind of like I'm Dr. Dre, but you're kind of like um, Cool Mo D. Wow. <laughs> that's a yeah, compliment no, the from the are. music industry. I mean, that, that's a compliment, brother. So right? thank you. Yeah. yeah. You're the true OG video guy. And so you've done hundreds and hundreds of videos. And um, so let's kind of start there with the whole video marketing and things like that, because here we are in a studio with lots of cameras and things like that. But you've had a successful career and you've built it a lot on the video stuff. So what made you kind of get started with that whole video angle of things? Uh, truly, it was by accident, mm -hmm. to be honest. Um, I was shooting um, pictures and creating virtual tours for out of area buyers. And I was uh, in a property and had my camera before the iPhone and pressed the button and I started cussing and swearing that it wasn't flashing. And when I got back to the <laughs> office, I plugged it in and it was me cussing and swearing. I thought, well, what an idiot. Why don't I just shoot a video instead of spending all this time building a virtual tour? And that's what I started doing. And that's, that's really how it came about. It was honestly, it was a total mistake. What was that 2007, eight? Yeah, probably right around the beginning of seven, maybe the middle of 2007. When the camera started coming out and being popular and all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, it was a little tiny Canon camera. I think I mm -hmm. spent 150 bucks on it and thought, why would I spend $150 on a little <laughs> tiny camera? And then next thing you know, I'm selling homes with it. So yeah. That's awesome. Well, and that's what I would tell people back in the exit days when I was doing the video and stuff like that is that um, it was literally nothing fancy. It was a little power shot Canon camera for 150 bucks, like you're saying. It was pink because of my wife's camera. And I just started doing these selfie video tours through these uh, foreclosed REO homes, and it was just trash. Oh, so but, funny. But the humor would carry it, you know, because yeah. I'd just be bagging on it That's the entire right. time. But what's funny is those little videos are still floating around, and I still get calls off of them because people, you know, come across them on the Internet for whatever reason. And so that little five minutes of a video, $150 camera, has turned into tens of thousands of dollars of commission, if yeah, not hundreds for sure. of thousands for sure. over the years. But your videos have always been amazing because they're more informative. Like mine were always humorous and entertaining and stuff like that. But yours are like, here's the nuts and bolts of what you need to know as a seller buyer. So I think you uh, did it much better than I did. Well, I could argue that with you because I like your personality and I like the humor behind yours. And you have a gift that I don't have. I'm not very funny unless we're off camera, right? And I say dumb You're stuff. You're funny. What are you talking well, about? I don't feel very funny. And I, I would be uncomfortable in front of a camera shooting a video hmm. with humor in it. I would always be second guessing myself. So I've always been the nuts and bolts guy. Yeah. Let's just get down to what's the brass tacks here. And then if we want to joke around about it, we can. Or you just let your sister do it. Or yeah, I do let my sister cause she's a goof. <laughs> and I love her to death. And the more I get her in front of the camera, just the more successful she becomes. It's, it's a beautiful thing. And that's where our personality.